So as you can see, I filled up. Now I like the water to be boiling hot if possible before I put the wax melt um, trays in. I like to use this fairy, the original. I always think the original is so much better for cleaning any of your dishes or anything really. There's something different about the green as opposed to the lemon and the, is it the grapefruit one? So yeah, fairy washing up liquid. Some boiling hot water, still put some more in, so I'd like to fill it up. This is not my washing up bowl that I use for my dishes. This is an old washing up bowl which I use for cleaning my wax melts out. Well, it's been it's been allocated to the wax melts. Well, wax melt uh, silicones. Right, so that's that. Now I'm going to pop these in one at a time. Uh, if I put them all in at the same time, then they'll just stick together. So at least this way they get to soak properly. So I've got, how many have I got here? It's four, five, six. So that's those. Now I've got some smaller ones. I might just put these in as well to soak. Leave those in to soak. And what I'm gonna do, it's always best to leave them to soak for about 15 minutes or longer if you feel like it. Okay, so we'll leave those to soak and we'll come back. Right, <clears throat> now then, I have a, just a standard nail brush. Um, now what you wanna do, just basically give them a good scrub, making sure that you get in the little crooks and crannies in all the corners. I'm relatively new to this, so uh, I'm not an expert. So if anyone knows of any easier way to clean your wax melt silicone moulds, then I'd really greatly appreciate it. Pop it down in the comments down below. Let's just give it a quick, I don't want to get too much cold water in here. Let's just give this one a quick rinse off because I'm not going to go through the whole lot with you simply because it would take so long you get bored. And that looks pretty clean. You can pop the edges out like that if you need to get into any more of these crooks and crannies in the corners. Um, but that there, yeah. Looks like it's done a good job. So that's one of the small ones. I'll do one of the big ones before I go, and then I can just get on and do the rest. But you won't have to watch me. <laughs> so here we have the bigger ones. So you can pop the edges out and just give them a good scrub. Now I didn't do this um, straight away. Uh, what I did is I made some wax melts and then I thought I'd got all the wax out. And then I did I did some pink ones and then I went to do some, just some plain wax melts. Thinking that I'd got all the color out, all the wax, but there must have been a tiny slither of wax still left on the mold. And my, what I wanted to turn out as just natural wax melts with natural colour, they came out with a pink tinge, <laughs> which wasn't really ideal, but you live and learn. So lesson learned there, I will wash my wax melts out before I go on to my next colour, just in case. I mean, it's, a lot of the time your wax comes out in, in, entirely but sometimes you get bits left and you get glitter left sometimes I find as well so let's rinse it off in the hot tap because I don't want too much cold water going in my bowl it's always nice to have hot 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 water obviously wear gloves because then you're not going to burn your hands now that looks 
Oh, that looks so much better. So much better. You don't want no soap and water left on them. So what we're going to do then is once they're all clean, I'm going to leave them to dry. Now, if you've got a radiator, not too hot, but a radiator you can pop them on too. They'll dry out nicely there or somewhere warm and dry. Um, other than that, I will leave mine on my draining board and hopefully, I might leave them onto a towel actually, a um, tea towel to help soak up some of the excess water. But as you can see, there, they come up lovely and clean. And it should get rid of the scent as well on them. Right, so that one. And I'm going to get on now and finish all these. So I'm halfway through. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any, um, if you have any comments that you'd like to make that may help me, uh, I'd really welcome them. It'd be so great to know what advice you've got out there as well for me too. Because like I said, this is a new thing for me, making wax melts. Um, which I'm actually thoroughly enjoying because I only do it in my spare bit of time because as, as some of you know I'm actually an artist I have another face uh, I have another YouTube channel called Kim Fane's art channel and that's where I like to do all my art this channel here is mostly for well it's all for creative things uh, crafting stuff like that sewing I did some embroidery towards the beginning, so if you're into embroidery or you're thinking of taking up, this is machine embroidery, um, please go ahead and look at some of my other videos. Uh, oh, I've got a sponge there, I want the cafe. Um, yeah, please go ahead and look at some of my other videos. Um, if you're interested in art, then perhaps pop over to my other YouTube channel, Kim Thanes. I'll leave a link actually down below in the in the description so you'll see a little arrow uh, down at the bottom of the video and you'll see if you pull that down then it should bring down the description and in there there'll be links to my other channel and other bits and pieces or of my social media so yeah those of you that already know me know that I like making all sorts of things um, but like I said I'm trying to concentrate a lot on my art at the moment because that's where my money is. That's where I earn my income because I'm actually just an artist. I don't go out to work. I work from home. And yeah, look at that look. So much better. So much better to give them a wash. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, then please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.